what is being in its heaven. Well, I grew up here. My ancestors moved here. Uh, there's nothing written, but as far as we could figure, they, they came here mid to late 1800s. And it's a beautiful place. Uh, <laughs> I guess we've always called it home. We grew up here, so it's home to us. Even when you just see it from a distance, coming back here seems to be, this is where we should be all the time, so. When Nunatsiawut came into play, we took it on ourselves to get this part surveyed. So all this land where the houses, we've got it all surveyed in our name. So we can't be pushed off. It's grandfathered in anyway, all these places. Is one thing I always think of with Nunatsiawut, with our beautiful land is if we don't take care of it like we should, like we were taught by our ancestors and our elders and all them, we're not going, this all we'll have is a beautiful land with nothing in it because it's hidden in a direction that uh, you, you, you don't want it to with, concerning wildlife and fish and all that. I guess one of the things now that we don't have access to is caribou and we always had access to caribou we always thought that they were always going to be there and now all of a sudden we can't we're not allowed to kill caribou we chose not to to try and get the herd numbers back up first caribou was was a big thing for any young hunter to get and i could remember my first one was just you know the mountains here it took us three months to carry them back. It was cold, so they were frozen. Uh, but those things you remember. Even skinning a caribou now is, uh, is something that's not being taught to our young, younger people. It's a really, really sad thing to be happening. But... Well, one of the things that we've always done here, and my mom and dad, when we were all living down in that house, was they always welcome people here, never ever turned anyone away. You're proud to be part of it. Webb's Bay is my <laughs> Nunatsiawut. <laughs> yeah.